62. And I just want to start out by taking a few seconds to ask that we could have another forum for the people who will not have time today to express themselves and for the people who could not avail themselves of this meeting, I, I know, <coughs> excuse me, we have the opportunity to submit written testimony, but the very nature of television, which is the subject matter of this hearing, points to the fact that there are things that writing don't, doesn't always convey, and because this is in the nature of a franchise for television, I think it will be fair um, that we have another hearing for the people who can't speak today. Yes. And I just want to go on to briefly sum up. Um, I am a Lelo user and viewer. I'd like to express my opposition to one, the 20 year franchise request a request to separate the existing PEG into separate educational public portions, any decrease in the current accessibility of the public to utilize the PEG stations <coughs> through basic service. And I also wish to express my support for increased funding for more and modern equipment and increased support and services for level users. I suggest this include, but not be limited to, an inter-island high-capacity broadband network, out allowing the outlying community media stations to broadcast live, and providing for two more channels for our level. I believe that in addition to the many viewpoints already expressed here today, there are significant legal considerations for this committee to consider. First of all, allowing a 20-year franchise agreement would not adequately fulfill PEG obligations as laid out in federal law. The Federal Sixth Circuit Appellate Court and Alliance for Community Media versus the State, City, and County of uh, San Francisco, um, the citations are in my testimony, and the year was 2008, suggested that the state authority conduct periodic reviews of the issues sufficient to ensure that, ensure that the PEG mandate reflect the most current needs of the community. Taking into account the rapid technological advances in broadcasting and telecommunications equipment, computers, software, etc., and the ever-increasing knowledge and information associated with this advancement, keeping pace with the advancements mandates that PEG reviews be conducted no longer than five years apart. In the past five years alone, significant advancements in technology have occurred, adding to this significant changes in the governing laws. For instance, high definition broadcasting, changes to the community, changes to community and school involvement during the past five years, and fundamental economic changes on both a local and global scale mandate that we have a five-year review. And I also want to bring up one other factor, which I haven't put down in my testimony, is that since the year 2003, one of the new, um, excuse me, federal restrictions were under review, there seems to be a dim view by the federal appellate courts of any kind of monopolistic practices under franchise agreements. Monopolistic practices which were struck down by the district courts in the Second Circuit have been upheld on the, on the appellate level. And I think it's pretty much understood that the franchise here is almost a monopoly. So in my opinion, if we're going to pretty much grant them a monopoly, Let's, on the other side, bolster the public interest, which usually suffers as a result of a monopoly. I mean, that's the purpose of the government here, to bolster the public interest. So when you have a monopoly, the courts and the government have found throughout, there's a detriment to the public interest. Let's give a little more side to the public. 
then we find others. So I would say increase all levels. Thank you. Thank you. I can tell you, sir, if you insulting. submit your testimony, we will read the testimony and consider the comments. Will talk? Do you think we have an opportunity to give us another meeting? I can't guarantee it. No, I can tell you that we will, if you'll submit your written testimony, we will read the testimony. Have one, have one. And then I'll give you a copy of the written testimony. Have one, have one. And then I'll give you a copy of the written testimony. Have one, have one. And then I'll give you a copy of the written testimony. Have one, have one. To being granted another meeting. I can't guarantee that, sir. But is that a possibility? We don't need a guarantee. At this time, I can't guarantee that. We're when not, does we, the we have not scheduled that have our their next meeting? Let me ask you this question. The yes. written testimony, what limit do you have of when can you read it? At the end of, of uh, the 18th, at 4 o'clock, if you have 10 other thousands letters coming in, you can say, oh, I'm sorry, 4.30 is over, that's the limit, we don't read any more testimonies. We're, we're asking that you submit your testimony. By you guys can read them. Right, so what if you don't have, who's going to read them all? You? You? We will all read it. Who's we? Who is we? The department has the cable division, I will read it. Ms. Wong, two, two, you guys okay, it's two, three, the three, director will look at four, it as well. Four, so you have 10,000 letters, you guys will be able to read, four of you guys will be able to read 10,000 letters I'm by sure. Friday. I'm not sure if you're going to get Wait, no, no, hold on, now you're doubting us? All I can How tell can you, you tell us you doubt we'll get 10,000? All I can tell you How can you say you, you doubt submit that? submit the testimony, we will consider You probably won't read them all, and you probably put a deadline, like that's, you put a deadline tonight. That is your opinion. That's exactly, no, that's right. right. And it's our voice that needs right. to be heard. Right. Okay. And again, the I'm government's asking. voice has been talking forever and has not accomplished anything. No. Look at the legislature. No. How many years, how many months you guys go through all of this and nothing happens? My testimony right now. Yeah. Yeah. We, we want to read it. Read it and note it. But if you have testimony, if you give it to us. Yeah, I'll go. If you die, you see, I'll go. If we get something formal, you can tell them about what you did. Because it's not formal. Yeah. Get me out, Kuli. I hope your grandchildren is not like you. I hope they're better than Excuse me, she's talking to you. Better look at her. I hope so. Uh, I and if that's what you're teaching your grandchildren and your children, He's to already come. Oh my gosh. And tell you that you pawn off. Because you see these kids over here, yeah? You're pressing them. You can be on. They have the right to speak. They truly have the right. They are our future. And one day, maybe, they're going to be your boss, your grandchildren's boss. And when they turn your grandchildren away, yeah, then you can handle like how we do. Yeah? Because I know you not thanking me. You not thanking me. Not from your heart. You know what, brother? One thing I got, I will learn. No say something that you know me, okay? If you think I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole. But no tell me you thanking me for my time over here because I know you not. Okay? Thank you. Now I'm telling you thank you. Okay? So what was your question? Yeah. 
Yeah, we need to. Are we just hoping our thing is not falling on different areas? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it is important. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. I've seen many lives change because of those.